Today we're going to take a look at some Lua scripts for MPV. If you aren't familiar with MPV, it's pretty much the best media player that's out there. Even with its regular built-in features, it's pretty darn good, but the scripting, the scripting is what really puts it over the top uh, and makes it really, really extensible. So there's a collection of user scripts that we can download uh, or we can download them one by one. That's probably what you'd want to do because there's a lot here um, on the MPV player GitHub page. So I'll have a link to this in the video description. Now, there's a few JavaScript scripts that you can install. I think the functionality for JavaScript is actually a little bit newer for MPV. I'm not 100% sure about that, um, but you know, there's a few JavaScript scripts, but as you can see, there are quite a few Lua scripts available, uh, many more than you would probably even want. Now, for installing these scripts, if you're on GNU Linux or Mac OS, then you're going to be in your .config folder. So this is, of course, right there in your home folder. Uh, and inside of this .config folder, there should be an MPV folder that's nested inside of it. This should have been created when you installed MPV. But if it wasn't for whatever reason, just go ahead and create that MPV folder. Now, if you're on Windows, you can more or less follow this guide as well. Uh, you're just going to be in this directory, your app data roaming, uh, MPV, and then scripts folder instead. Um, but I'm on Linux, so we're going to go into scripts. And this is pretty much where you're just going to start copying these MPV scripts into. So you can see I've got a few different uh, Lua scripts that are in here already. Now, some MPV scripts are also going to have a script ops. Um, so I can sort of show you the inside of the main MPV folder what I have here. So script ops, if I go into here, so there's a few things in here, like pretty much the same with uh, crop and encode and encode slice instead of dot Lua, they just have the dot conf. So those are in there. And there's also inside of the main folder an mpv.conf. This is something, again, that you're gonna have to create on your own. And this is sort of like a general settings folder. So this is where you'll wanna set certain things that are going to uh, happen on like every video. So for example, I have it set up where if MPV is playing a WebM, then it's going to automatically loop uh, forever and ever. So like if it's one of those short, uh, WebMs that you see on the internet a lot. It's just going to go ahead and loop it for me. But like MP4 files, MKVs, all of those are just going to play through regularly and then end. So I'll go ahead and show you uh, more or less how you would install one of these scripts. So this is the crop script here. Um, so you've got script ops and scripts. These are the main things that we're going to be interested in. Uh, also input.conf, but this is more of like an example file. Um, but I'll show you that in a moment. So you go to scripts and you can see that this like blur edges, blacklist, um, seek to Lua, all that is copied into here. And if I go into script ops, it's going to be the same deal. All of these are copied into here. So now the input is basically how you're going to set the key bindings, uh, for actually doing or actually using this script. So I have it uh, just set up with the same, oh, went back too far. Um, I have it set up the same as the example file here. So we can see like C is to start cropping, uh, E is to set the encode timestamp. So I wanna go ahead and just actually show you guys how that works. So we'll play this file here. So this is something that I, Downloaded. Uh, you guys might actually recognize this video from the penguin meme. So basically, uh, we got our guys that are walking down the stairs here. So we're going to do C to start cropping. And so uh, this comes up next to my mouse pointer that shows me the pixel coordinates. And then I can just start like click and then drag it to where you want the cropping to be done. So we're just going to focus on the penguins here. 
Uh, and then also you can set an encode timestamp. So this is where it's going to start the video. last guy to come out who doesn't want to cooperate. And you can see what it's going to sort of look like in the preview here. Alright, and then this will be our end timestamp. So now, if we quit out of MPV, and if we go back into this folder here, there's two that are created. I probably should have uh, LS this before, but this was just created, the one that ends in one. And if we open that up, you'll see that it's cropped. And it's also got this on the side, the blur edges. So yeah, now it looks like, um, like, I don't know, maybe like it was shot on a phone or something, or like it was using one of those um, camera apps, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever it is that the kids are using these days. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of cool. And we did this all with MPV. We didn't have to open up some video editor or something like that. Like we just, we just did it with a video player. Can your video player do that? Uh, and of course it's going to loop now because remember I've got that uh, setting on my main MPV file to loop. Uh, WebM videos. There's many more scripts, obviously. Uh, like if we scroll down a bit, we can see this one, Cycle Audio Device. So this is a pretty simple script here. Um, you pretty much just copy this into your Lewis scripts folder, and it's predefined with key bindings, like kind of hard coded into the script, but I guess you could change it. Like it tells you, um, yeah. Shift A and Control A, and you can see where the key bindings are defined down here. So you could change them if you wanted to. But yeah, this is going to switch between your audio devices while you're in MPV instead of having to open up like Pavu Control uh, or uh, what is it, Alsa Settings, any external program to do it. Like this, well, I guess technically this Lewis script is an external program, but you know what I mean. You're pretty much within MPV and changing things. So that would be really useful if say you were gonna broadcast a live show to Twitch or to YouTube, because uh, obviously they have terms of service. So maybe if you're going to be reacting to a clip, you might want to review it yourself with the audio just going to your headphones or maybe have someone on your crew review it uh, before sending it to the audience because then there could end up being some problems. And this is another really popular one that uh, I need a little bit more time to try and get it working, but the MPV thumbnail script. So it pretty much does what the name implies and what you can see it doing here. It's going to show you thumbnail previews for different areas of your video. So very similar to uh, like YouTube and most other video players where you can uh, seek through them and see a preview of what that part of the video is going to be and then jump to it or whatever. Well, the jumping functionality is already there in MPV. This just gives you the thumbnail preview. So uh, basically to install this, you just get these scripts from their releases page. Uh, so it's these uh, client script and it is the server script. And the server script you can duplicate a number of times to make the thumbnail generation faster because these scripts are threaded, so each one will use a thread of your CPU. Uh, don't go crazy with the duplication unless you have a crap ton of threads on your system, obviously. Uh, so yeah, that's really neat. I'll leave a link to all of these scripts in the description uh, and as well as a link to the main MPV user scripts page so that you guys can check those out. Um, and let me know which ones that you like. And if you've been using these MPV Lewis scripts for a while, let me know which ones you really enjoy in the comments below because I just started playing with these Lewis scripts very recently. Uh, I've been pretty busy though, so I can't really, I don't really have time to look through a whole bunch of them like uh, I wanted to, but I'm thinking of doing another video about these once I've really gone through a few and I sort of have all of the ones that I know I really want to actually use. Um, there's just so many available, but I hope that you enjoyed this intro to MPV Lewis scripts. Like and share the video and have a great weekend.